We are on Peaks Island and we are going to explore an abandoned World War II era fort, Battery Steel. It's the first day of summer vacation, so um, it's possible we might find some juvenile delinquents in here and we'll route them out. Battery Steel is a World War II era coastal defense installation located on Peaks Island off the coast of Portland, Maine. The battery was armed with two 16-inch guns capable of firing 2,200-pound shot at battleships or submarines 30 miles out to sea. Getting to the island requires a ferry ride out of Portland. Peaks Island, located as an outer island in the bay, has a clear view of the North Atlantic, making it a strategic location to place the guns in the event of a naval attack. The ferry travels to and from the island daily. After arriving on the island, we rode our bikes to the opposite end. From there, we had to walk through a marshy area to reach Battery Steel. Battery Steel was one of 43 planned gun installations of this size. However, only 23 were completed, and of those, only 17 were armed. Although the guns and the accompanying controls were destroyed or removed after the war, Battery Steel remains otherwise intact. It was listed in the National Register in 2005. The fortification within the Peaks Island Military Reservation was comprised of 198 acres, more than 25% of the island's total area. The entire fortification was comprised of 58 military structures. Those included range-finding bunkers, fire control posts, barracks, and watchtowers. Outside of the battery steel gun emplacement, fire control towers still stand. Range-finding bunkers stare out at the ocean, and various other buildings dot what is now a 14-acre site. The mouth of the building is 30 feet high and leads straight through the building to a smaller opening in the back. A heavy, rounded lip hangs over the front, casting the inside into gloomy shadow. The whole structure is dug deep into the ground and covered by dirt and shrubs. Many locals know the battery is a special place to play or hang out. It's a perfect setting for island teens to escape to. Kids and even adults have left their mark in layers and layers of graffiti. It's everywhere, in all colors and levels of artistry. But the graffiti never lasts long as the walls are always damp. I can certainly understand teens allure to battery steel. It's a great place to hang. <laughs> it's a mark of the furry community on Peace Island. Dirty, ear beans, and a crazy echo sound. It's always long and dark, but we have a tactical whole life weapon light that we can shine down here. Search for the lake lights. There's a secret underground bunker. <laughs> There has been standing water in here before, and it's almost the case now. Hallway up the hallway, leading to yet more rooms. Hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. The 
of the individual rooms for munitions. I'm not sure quarters. This apparently is a witch's room, apparently. God bless the good witches, it says. Half naked witches all over the place. Someone drowning in the water over here. Save the planet. Kill the people. I will miss you. Corey Fostabi.